Hello and welcome. Today we have the pleasure of Jen Bernston, who is going to be here helping us uh, to, well, teaching us how to do CPR. So, uh, Jen, without further ado, would you like to uh, introduce uh, what you'll be doing today and how, uh, yeah, we'll get with it. Okay, so yeah, my name's Jen. I am one of the members of Southern Heartbeat, which is a local charity that has put out the, the boxes and the AEDs around the Falklands. You might have seen them around. Um, I've just come in really to teach you how to do CPR. CPR is something quite easy, but it is a life-saving skill. Um, and if people learn it, you know, there is a chance that somebody might save a life one day. Definitely. Brilliant. Well, um, I'm very much looking forward to uh, learning how to do this properly. So, uh, okay, so. right. So we've checked the room. We've checked for danger. Yeah, there is no danger. danger. Okay, yeah. so now we need to check for a response. response. Yeah. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? Okay, so there's no response. So now we check the airway. Airways. So we have, so, that's it, hold the head back. back. Lift the chin down, yeah. have a good look in there. See if there's it's any vomit or blood or anything like that. No. Um, which we would need to get rid of. No. Um, so no. keeping the airway open, uh, we need to put ear down and hand on the chest for 10 seconds to see if they're breathing. These 10 seconds may feel like a long time, but it's important that we check that they, they are not breathing. Okay. Yeah, they're definitely not breathing. They're so. not breathing. Okay, Thank so now much. we need to get on the phone right. or ask somebody to call for an ambulance and ask for an AED. Awesome. So this line here. Yeah, get your hands together. That's it. Put the in the center there. Get your shoulders over and just rock backwards and forwards on your hip and try and keep it clicking for 30 compressions. It's really important when you press that you allow the chest to rise as well, so you're doing very good there. Oh, that's 30. That's 30. So. <laughs> okay, so it's quite hard work. Right? Yeah, yeah. So it is. if you were going to do the two rescue breaths, now's your time. Okay. But if you're not, then you carry on continuously. You don't stop compressions. Continue. Is that until the ambulance comes? Until the ambulance comes, somebody comes to help, or if you're on your own, until you become so tired that you cannot carry on anymore. Wow. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, so so if we stop it there, yeah, and then we will introduce the AED. Cool. Um, because once you've called, someone will go and get it uh, and we can bring it in and we can train with that now. Brilliant. So what, at what stage then do you transfer from doing the compressions to bringing in the AED? So if you're a lone rescuer, if you're on your own um, and there's an AED close by, then you would get the AED first, then go back. Okay. Once you start chest compressions, you sh the, it should be minimal interruptions, very, very little. Mm -hmm. um, but if, if you're with other people, you know, you can get a couple of you doing CPR, chest compressions, and get someone to go and get the AED. Okay. Um, so yeah, it, it kind of depends if you're on your own or if you're with a group of people and how close that AED is, of course. You don't want to go 10 minutes to get an AED. You're better off just ringing the, ringing the ambulance, ringing mm -hmm. the hospital, jumping on the chest and doing the best you can until they turn up. Oh, thanks. Yeah. That's all right. Right, should we try it with the AED this time? Yeah, let's do okay. it. Okay, so if you've already started CPR, you've opened the airway and you've checked for breathing, don't think because you've just started the machine that you have to go back to the airway and breathing. Carry on with your compressions and the machine will catch up with you. Okay, so the, the defib pads are in a Z shape. The red cross here goes in the center of the chest and the center of the nipples. Talk to the person doing the compressions and um, arrange when you're going to put the pads on the chest. Okay, so give me five more. One, two, three, four, five. Off you go, back on. Good, carry on. Okay, stand clear, stand clear. So the machine has told us not to touch because it's analyzing now. It's seeing if it needs a shock, if this person needs a shock. Shock advised. Don't touch patient. Press flashing shock button. 
Okay, so we now need to make sure that everybody is clear that no one is touching this person, okay? Okay, everybody clear? Shocking? Shock delivered. Start CPR. And carry on. Minimize chest compressions as much as possible. It's really important. Once you start, don't stop. Stop CPR. Don't touch patient. Analyze it. Okay, so everyone clear, stand clear. Don't touch patient, analyze it. Shock advice. Okay, everyone clear. Don't touch patient, press flashing. Shock stand button. clear, shocking. Shock delivered. Start CPR. That's how it, it <laughs> carries on, and it'll carry on and carry on and carry on until such times as. The best news would be the person starts to wake up. Medical professionals turn up and tell you that they're going to take over. Um, or they might turn up and say, you're doing a great job. Could, do you mind carrying on while we sort stuff out? And of course, the third reason, if you're on your own, like we spoke about earlier, and you become so physically tired that you're unable to carry on, that's acceptable. And there are about the three, three reasons that you would stop. Yeah. But that is how the AED works and how to give um, CPR. Um, it's not a hard skill um, to learn, but it's a life-saving skill. Thank you. And I just have two questions. So yeah. um, in the first instance, when you find someone, it, let's say there is an AED machine right there, do you administer that right away first or do you go always do the compressions before? If I was on my own, mm -hmm. AED on first, first, and then I'd start compressions. If there's two of us, I would jump on, start compression straight away um, and, and let the other person sort the AED out. Sure. It is said that the machine will only work in certain circumstances. Mm -hmm. If the heart's not beating, um, then it's not going to work. It's mm -hmm. got to have some kind of electrical activity in the heart to work with. Mm -hmm. It's what some people don't understand. It would be great if they saved everyone, but they don't. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then the other thing is, if their airways are blocked, what yeah. would you do in that circumstance? Okay, so if they've got vomit or, or blood or something in their airway that you can see, a fluid, then you can roll them on their side uh, and, and let it drain out, let gravity do its work and drain out, and then put them back on their back. But it's minimal interruptions to CPR again, so it's got to be quite quick. Um, and if it keeps filling up, then you keep rolling, keep rolling, and keep rolling. You have, you're going to have to stop CPR while you do it. So roll them quickly, empty it out, get them back on their back and carry on with compressions. Awesome. Thank you very much. No that worries. has been really informative and I hope that, um, yeah, that will go and, and be quite a useful resource for many people to come. Well, I hope Thank so. It would be pretty, pretty good if everybody learnt the skill.